Oh, it was a solid performance. Uh, it was a much bigger meet than um, we had thought it would be. I believe there were 17 teams. Um, nice grass course, just loops around the brain, um, the backfields. And I, I thought our one through four were really quite nice and tight. Uh, freshman Paige Ethier led the way at um, sixth place overall, which was, I thought, a great a great race for her as an inco as a new freshman. And um, actually, it is her best cross country time ever um, in a big field. And then um, Haley Madsen, 1850, and uh, Frankie Brilliante was about 19 flat, and Lauren Collinbear was about 1911. Our um, fifth runner. Uh, Lainey Jowett has never run cross, so she's a soccer player. It was a good showing for her fir first ever cross country race. Um, our goal is obviously we need to help solidify our, our top five. So basically our four are pretty tight, but we need to get five, six, and seven um, closer up. And we need to try and get a one five split. Hopefully um, between 30 to 60 seconds would be phenomenal. So, so it continuing to foster pack running and we just need to move everyone up so we're a tighter pack. But it was a good first opener. We were, we were pleased. Uh, well, it's actually wonderful to be able to have a couple weeks to train. Um, we do have a meet scheduled at Central Connecticut on the 22nd. So, so we just get a good amount of time to train, um, a long run, um, a tempo, a couple of interval workouts, so so it's a, it's a, it's great that we can just focus on training and not have to race every weekend. That's the beauty about collegiate cross country that you can uh, you have more time to train than a high school season.